Hello everyone and welcome back. Dace here of Stonebeak Productions, of course, and today we are digging right into Mega Man 5. <laughs> yeah, just wait for it to come all the way down. Oh my god. So I actually got shivers watching that intro. I love the music and just, oh man, so cool. Anyway, let's go like this. So yeah, this is bringing back a lot of memories, you guys. We're going to start with Gravity Man. And as we go through these games and... Uh, these levels especially, uh, I will be reminiscing, just sharing a little bit about my experiences because, man, this one is going way back for me. Mega Man 5 is like probably the one I played the most when I was a kid. So, man, it's interesting playing with a pro controller too. I always really thought the gravity in this uh, level was really fascinating. And just always the level design in these levels is just so cool. Like the colors, the, the enemies, just everything. The devices that you come across, the, the backgrounds, the things you just see here and there. Just so fascinating to me. So this is definitely big time memory lane for me. And I'm glad you guys are here to join me for this epic ride. Oh, you. So interestingly enough, my brother is the one that, my older brother, I have one older brother and three sisters, uh, he was the one that would have introduced me to Mega Man games, because it was his uh, NES, and he was the one that was getting games for it, and I was uh, a little on the young side to be buying that kind of stuff for myself at that point, but I was still playing them and loving them. Uh, Oh god. Okay. So it would have been interesting to see if uh, if it wasn't from him that I learned about Mega Man, if uh, at some point later on I would have uh, discovered this incredible series. So this is Gravity Man. Pretty straightforward. Oh, you. And we are done. How do you like that? Cool. I do not mind. Okay, let's dig right on into Stone Man. So, I love the mountains in the background. At this point, you guys probably are aware that I have a huge thing for backgrounds. And there's something else I'm going to share with uh, about the backgrounds in relation to those mountains specifically, but I will do that when we get there. Okay, so... 
Man, as a kid, these bat-like robots, or even some of the other ones in the other Mega Man games, were always so pesky. Bet you didn't see that coming, did you? Oh, you... You fancy magician. Again, like, like one thing I always love about games is the music, and this one especially. Oh my god, just so good. Like, I mean this game specifically, not necessarily the level. Like, I do like this song, but I just mean Mega Man 5 in general has really awesome tunes. Okay, so as far as I am aware, Mega Man 5 is the first Mega Man game to introduce the M block. And what that does is it, uh, so the E block is what fills like your energy bar or like uh, whatever. Uh, but the M block fills every single bar you have. Uh, anything that even is even a like one little section empty will be totally refilled. So okay, this is what I want to mention. I love the fact that the mountains here are obviously closer because they're more detailed and they're just obviously closer. But I love the fact that you start off the level and the mountains look so far away and then as you progress through the level it's kind of like you're getting closer to them. I just think that's so fantastic. Having the, the background just come closer as you make your way through. Okay. No, no, okay. There we go. <clears throat> we are just going to skip that because it's not something I require. There's a passage here though. Actually, I could. I'll just grab that health just in case. Sometimes I do stock up on E blocks, but. Yeah, whatever. Um, I really don't uh, think I need anything from that guy, our little friend. Oh man. And here we go, you guys. So Stone Man is a kind of boss where he'll do that big attack only if you're like very far from him. Otherwise, he'll just do this constantly. Uh, and as long as you sneak the attack in just before he lands, um, you're good. Otherwise, it'll, of course, fly away. Deflected from his... Uh, stone shield or whatever or just as like body is what i mean like his uh his uh, rock body is like very defensive okay let's actually just focus here and do this <laughs> as we just take more hits done okay so yeah So I think what I'm going to do, because 
these games end very quickly. Like, you can play them in a single sitting, like a, an hour, whatever the case is, an hour and a half or something. So I think what I will do is I'll do the first eight bosses in the first half of the Let's Play, and then the second episode will literally just be uh, the last little bit, or maybe I'll break that up into a second and a third. But just so you have a, a rough idea, we're just going to plow through these eight guys, and then, uh, yeah, we'll continue next time. Oh, come on. Interestingly enough, those hens, when I was uh, younger, I always thought those were the dorkiest looking enemies in this whole game. They just looked so silly to me. Oh, come on, man. want no 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 we want we want that thank you okay well whatever sharp spikes oh man Okay, we're already at the end. We just take care of this guy. Alright. So the levels do go by pretty quick, to be honest. Oh, what? So obviously if he's charging at you speedily, or he's red, then obviously you're not going to... Uh, you're not going to get um, a hidden. Oh, what? Oh, no! That was just silly. Okay, we got this. That was literally just me not timing my jumps over him, because you can do this, like, so easily like that. Oh. Oh, you. That time he definitely got me, though. It's when he, like, turns around just as you're jumping. Oh, man. Oh, like that. Okay. I always really like train levels when it comes to Mega Man. It's just things flying by in the background and just, yeah, going along each car and uh, just like laying waste. Just makes for interesting uh, journey, switches it up quite a bit. Let's do Starman. So I love the gravity in this one, you can just jump so high. Oh. I was watching a speedrun of this level uh, a week or two ago, and it was just nuts. Like, I mean, I go, I, I feel like I go through these pretty, pretty fast, but like, 
I'm not attempting to speedrun or even do it fast, I'm just going through it like I normally would. But yeah, just the... Yeah, just the uh, the maneuvers or the the shortcuts, the, the techniques that are used for speedrunning games like this is just... They are just amazing. Okay. Oh, brutal! Okay, seriously, man, just die already. Okay, you're not even worth it. I swear to god if you hit me. <sighs> 20 minutes later. Like, look at that background. It's so incredibly basic, and yet it just gives gives off this uh, feeling of just being so far out. Oh my god. Those guys popping up from the bottom always reminded me of Humpty Dumpty, except pointier heads. And interestingly enough, I've never noticed, uh, I've never been able to kill one off. They may actually be indestructible. If someone knows one way or another, that'd be awesome to leave that in the comments. But like, I've, I've sampled all sorts of weapons against them. Um, and I, like, I've blasted them to bits and I've never noticed. I've never killed one and, uh, yeah. So again, another, like, all these bosses are easy in my opinion, but they're, they're still fun battles for sure. And he is gone. Super Arrow. That's a lot of fun too. Okay, let's just jump into Napalm Man. Again, just a really cool and creative layout. Oh, you. And no, there is no rapid fire button. There's another one coming there. Let's go before they come. Okay, ooh, secret passage. I always really love this level. Oh, the, the flying guy? Man, when I was a kid, that guy was such a pest. It seemed to take like five minutes just to like juggle between firing him and and uh, <laughs> not falling off edges and whatever else so okay whatever we don't really care um, but yeah just interesting Cool. 
we definitely want to get this. Hmm. Oh god. Takes care of that guy. There's one more right there. I do love the sound effects in these games, so good. Oh god, yeah, I knew that one was there. But it just jumped anyway. So once again, it's a boss where if you're far away from him, he will do a special attack. But otherwise, if you just stay close, we'll just uh, do the same thing over and over again. Done and done. We are crushing these bosses, you guys. Okay, let's do Wave Man. Now this is one of my absolute favorite levels in the game. For the music, which you will soon hear, the colors, just the design, all the cool contraptions. Oh, everything. Like, look at the water in those tanks. The color of the, the steam there. Just those traps serving some purpose. Oh, you. You'll really want to be careful when you jump up there, because if you're not far enough, you'll just get sucked into like the closest tube or whatever. That used to happen all the time when we were playing, like when my uh, brothers and sisters were, or my brother and sisters were playing this game way back. Look at that fat bubble. Pretty impressive considering Mega Man may not be the lightest, but who knows, maybe he's like made of super light materials, I have no idea. Oh, once, like just the color of the sky and the mountains here, like, just what inspired them to make those choices, it's just so cool. I could be mistaken, but I'm almost positive this is the first Mega Man in which you have one of these, like, types of vehicles. Uh, if there was another time, um, it might have been in 4, but I don't recall there being one. But uh, there might have been. It's been years, literally years, since I've played these, so... And I always love this boss, too. Just this massive sea creature, octopus kind of guy or something with a massive robotic helmet. Oh man, dude. Okay, we're coming up to the letter that we want to collect in this level. And that's coming up really soon. Uh, right here. Oh, dude. There's no need to jump right in harm's way.
Like, just amazing looking level. Oh, I love it. Oh, you. So, as, as long as you just do what I'm doing, like, I, as far as I know, that water spout will never hit you as long as you're just doing what I'm doing. And boom, we're done already. Crystal Cave, uh, Crystal Cave, we'll do Crystal Man next. Who lives in a Crystal Cave. And, yeah, honestly, oh, one thing I love about this level is just the shifting colors of all the, uh, the crystals that we're walking on. Not to mention the capsules there. It's like, what do those things even do? I love how, like, way back... They would just create these decorations for the level and they wouldn't explain anything. It would just be like, yeah, this is what things look like and uh, yeah, that's that. That was always such a dreadful part when I was a kid. Because like if you weren't timing it properly. Oh man. And then the pink sky. So beautiful. Okay, let's just go like this. Come on, man. Right after that one. Those look so sharp. Holy smokes. Those guys are souped up versions of the ones in... Uh, I know they go... I know they're in number four for sure. And I would imagine they've been in ones earlier. Again, it's been years, so... I'm pretty sure they're in number three though too. I think this is the first time where they're like super, super massive like that. Let's just get right into it. And once again, we are here. And just like some of the other bosses, if you're too far from him, he'll do like a special attack, which is that one. But uh, as long as you're close like this, you're you're good. To just kind of like go back and forth and avoid those. Oh, what? No way. It was just a little bit too far there. Oh, man. No! Okay. That was a little on the sloppy side, but we got it done nonetheless. Okay, on to Gyro Man. So cool. I love any time in Mega Man where you have like glass containers and you can see 
the components underneath. Sometimes stuff is moving, other times it's just stationary, but like those things turning in there, like just so cool. And such a basic looking sky, and yet it just looks so nice, so beautiful. And again, such a beautiful song. Oh my god. Okay, so the letter is coming up, and there is a way to get it. Oh, no, 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 but I, I fumbled that. There's like a bit of a moment where you can start to drop, but then like still jump up, from what I recall anyway. But whatever, we have it now, so we'll just continue and never speak of this again. Oh, man. Get ready for it, you guys. Oh no! Too high! That happens sometimes. Oh! <laughs> that happens sometimes too. Careful here. Oh, whew. nice. Oh man, okay, that was that could have been deadly. Wait a minute. Okay, let's just be like a little on the cautious side. Now there is a really cheap way to fight Gyro Man, and that's by using the weapon we get from Gravity Man. But to be honest, you literally just you can stand there, and as long as you're not getting hit by him, you can just continue. Like you don't even have to line any sort of attack up. You just press the button, and uh, he goes down pretty quick. But that's no fun. So guess what? Oh, dude. Oh, what? That is complete slop. We are going to just do this again. <laughs> complete slop. <laughs> complete slop it is. Okay, so this is how he wants to do it this time. Already half done. Well, that went smooth, much more smoothly uh, this time around. Nice.
Cool. Well, guess what, you guys? That brings us to the end of this episode. Thank you so much for watching and joining me for this, uh, yeah, little experience, and I'm stoked to share the next half of the game with you as well. So definitely stay tuned. Anyway, that's going to be it from me. Please like, subscribe, and share your comments below, as that would be awesome. <coughs> Excuse me. And, uh, yeah, I will see you next time.